Have you been hearing your friends talk about using Descript with their favorite editing software and wondering if there's a way to do it with Hindenburg? Well, if you're a Hindenburg Journalist Pro user, there is, and we're going to talk about that today. What's happening, podcasters? My name is Brian Ensminger. I'm a podcaster and a podcast editor, and I want to see you be successful with your podcast. This particular video is going to be about Hindenburg Journalist Pro and Descript. If you've heard about Descript, it is a transcription service that also allows you to make edits that you can then either export as a finalized file or use with popular editing software like Adobe Audition or Pro Tools. And if you're a Hindenburg user, you might have been wondering, are we being left out in the cold? Well, you're not. And today I'm going to show you how you can do just that. So I have open in front of me a Descript session. This is a couple of files that I had uploaded that are part of the same episode. And Descript went through and it did the transcription. So we've got a couple of different speakers that are, that are in here. And it did all of that transcription. And you'll see every so often there's these little gray marks. Those represent ums that have been removed. And I could also do things like if I wanted to remove an entire section, you'll see when I highlight it up here, it also highlighted on the timeline. And if I delete that, it will then remove that from the timeline. Now, just like Hindenburg, it's actually not being a destructive editor, so it's not actually removing it from the original audio. But you can do that, and so you can use Descript to do big content edits if there are sections that you want missing, or that you want to take out, and it's easier to do it by reading it. Or if there are a lot of ums or other crutch words that you want to have removed, you can use Descript to help you capture some of those. If you're using something like Audition, you can export that, but the fact is you can also do it in Hindenburg. And I'll show you how to do that. You would go up here to File and then choose Export. And then you've got some options, right? You can export a text file, subtitles, or audio. We're not going to do any of that. We are going to export a timeline. And a timeline would be like audio files and then a session file that goes with it that tells what's going to happen with that. But you don't see Hindenburg as an option. You have Reaper, Pro Tools, uh, Final Cut Pro, Adobe Audition. But if you're a Hindenburg Journalist Pro user, you can actually open up Adobe Audition files. So what you would do is select Adobe Audition. Then you would select, and it tells you the format, right? Adobe Audition is what we selected. We do want to export the media files. And I don't usually tick the box for creating a separate track for each file because we've already got all that stuff. And then you just hit Export. That will take a couple minutes, so we're not going to watch it do it, but it will export that. And then when you're done, you would go to Hindenburg Journalist Pro and then go to Open. And then see down here where it says Hindenburg Files? If you hit that little drop down, you've also got the option for SESX, which is the Adobe Audition file. And then you would navigate to where that file is. I've got to go find one real quick. So you find the Adobe Audition file, and then you just hit open. And when you open that, it will import the Adobe Audition session file into Hindenburg. And then when you save it, it will automatically save it as a Hindenburg file. So I hope this was useful. It's actually really simple if you want to do it. Use Descript, export as Adobe Audition, and then when you are in Hindenburg Journalist Pro, hit open, and then change the file format to Adobe Audition and import that file. Then you save it and you've got it just like you were able to export it directly to Hindenburg Journalist Pro. Now, if you are a Hindenburg user and you haven't already connected with us, there is a group of about 550 Hindenburg Journalist and Journalist Pro users on Facebook. You can find us at hindiusers.com. I would really encourage you to connect with us because we have a lot of conversation going on in there, people helping each other out and hel helping us all get a little bit better. If you'd like to connect with me personally, you can find me at toptieraudio.com. And if you found this video useful, I would really appreciate it if you would give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and then maybe share it with somebody else that you think would benefit from it. Thanks so much for watching. Now go out there and make a great podcast.